Hi there, welcome to the Top Dog Tips YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna to be talking about the 10 cancer-causing dog products and household supplies. Before we get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website using the link in the description below. If you subscribe using the link, you will receive a free ebook on 25 that recommended homemade dog food recipes. Without further ado, let's get into it. So cancer in dogs may be due to nature and nurture, but even if your pet's dog breed is already at an increased risk of cancer, it's important to pay attention and removing certain products from their life that can significantly decrease that danger. Studies show that while some breeds are genetically predisposed to cancer, and we'll link to those studies, different cancers in dogs are often a result of external factors and cancer-causing dog products. So whether it's food ingredients or household supplies, pet owners are strongly advised to avoid some items. Generally, cancer is a disease of senior dogs. A dog's skin and soft tissue are the most common places for cancer to show up in dogs with canine cutaneous histiocytoma, a type of skin skin tumor from Langerhand cells being the most common in dogs all across the world and caused by products or environmental contamination and we'll link to those studies. There's a massive number of different cancers that external factors can cause. As an example, let's look at a mammary tumor in dogs. While hormones may cause cancer, studies have detected contaminants in the most aggressive types of tumors. And one of the many cases, parathyroids, were a very common household insecticide. As a result, doctors detected 33.3% in canine tumors, which triggered dogs' proliferation of cancer cells. That is to say, even with breeds predisposed to cancer, they will not necessarily develop it unless exposed to some products that stimulate cancer cells. All right, so let's get into these products. Product number one, aflatoxin. Since the 2013 EU aflatoxin contamination, the said sub substance has been on the WHO's watch list and banned in many places. Aflatoxins are well-known carcinogens, poisonous to dogs and humans alike. They grow from certain fungi such as Aspergillus flavus or Aspergillus parasiticus. And the said carcinogen is present in several crops like corn, peanuts, and cotton seeds. Several states in the U.S. banned it while some still allow its use. Unfortunately, you might not always be able to tell from the label if your dog's food contains it. This toxin is more dangerous to pets than humans. Humans, the risk of liver damage and liver cancer in dogs increases by 30 times when exposed to aflatoxins. Before you purchase a particular brand of dog food or treats, check online to see if it contains this ingredient. You can also call the pet food manufacturer and ask whether this ingredient is part of their formula. Product number two, ethoxyquin. Commercial dog foods and treats stored on the shelf must always use some preservatives to keep them from spoiling and staying somewhat fresh. That part is unavoidable unless you chose fresh dog food only. However, while certain dog food preservatives may be natural and very effective in preserved foods, other types cause cancer. Ethoxyquin is one of them, commonly found in dog food with a fish meal. People exposed to high levels of ethoxyquin have experienced blindness, infertility, and cancer such as leukemia. In dogs, ethoxyquin can cause immune deficiency, kidney and liver damage, and cancers of the dog's spleen, liver, skin, and stomach. Ethoxyquin is just one of many preservatives that may be dangerous to dogs. There are others, including BHA and BHT, that can be cancer-causing. However, their levels are below what EPA is considers unsafe, so they're still allowed to be in pet foods. It's up to the pet owner to be diligent if they wish to avoid them. Number three is glyphosate. Glyphosate is a commonly used herbicide found in commercial products as well as pesticides for home use. These products are among the most offending cancer-causing dog products on this list, with enough scientific evidence proving their harm. Many Manufacturers originally developed this herbicide to replace an older version of pesticides, but studies from the last decade indicate its toxicity and dangers. Glyphosate can cause DNA damage and mutation in dogs, leading to many different types of deadly canine cancers and other incurable diseases. Number four, laundry supplies. You may not think of laundry supplies as cancer-causing dog products, but some of them will be. Certain laundry products, such as detergent, fabric softener, bleach, and dryer sheets can be hazardous for dogs. Some items may include formaldehyde, which is a known carcinogen. While most laundry supplies will not harm you or your pet in small doses, any cancerous cleaning supplies or 
or different laundry products may have a harmful effect if a dog gets access and ingest them in a higher dosage or on more than one occasion. Choose more organic cleaning products. Always keep laundry supplies out of your pet's reach. Carefully rinse your dog's supplies before giving them back. You can also make a more natural homemade cleaning supply and even a homemade laundry detergent, the DIY style, safe for dogs ingredients. Product number five, blue dye. Particular food coloring, especially blue number one, blue number two, have been shown in studies to be cancerous to animals. For example, both blue number one and blue number two food coloring research saw it directly linked to the cause of brain tumors in animals. Even though most dog foods aren't blue and use very little to no food coloring, these food dye ingredients are still in some dog food or treats. Product number six, flea and tick treatments. Flea and tick treatments are some of the most commonly purchased dog products. The good news is that many work very well and do the job. The bad news is that we also consider some flea and tick treatments among dangerous cancer-causing dog products. Even though using dog flea and tick treatments occasionally is fine, many dog owners apply them year-round just to be safe. Ironically, this could be worse for the dog. Some pesticides found in flea and tick products such as fipronil and permethrin can lead to some health problems in dogs, albeit rarely. The flea and tick solution ingredients cause thyroid and other cancers in dogs and cats, but are rare. Some can also cause bladder cancer in dogs. Moreover, pet owners should know that some flea or tick products increase the risk of brain cancer in kids. Product number seven, Tabasco smoke. Smoking and tobacco products can cause cancer in humans, having the same effect on your dog. Smoking anywhere near your dog significantly increases lung cancer or oral cancer studies show. This risk can further increase if your pet ingests cigarette butts or ashes regularly. If you do smoke, minimize the chance and avoid smoking around your pet. Learn more about how tobacco smoke affects pets and what you can do about it if you stick with smoking. It's recommended to do this outdoors in a well-ventilated area and properly dispose of the ashes and butts far away from your dog. Wash your clothing regularly and keep it in a closed hamper away from your pets as well. So we'll do number eight, over vaccination. This isn't necessarily necessarily a product, but it can happen as a result. Vaccines are essential for your dog in many cases against many dangerous diseases. They're generally safe, especially for puppies who need to receive vaccines at specific periods. We don't recommend avoiding vaccinating your dog, particularly when it comes to core vaccines. Even vaccines in development serve as anti-cancer in dogs and they've been proven entirely safe. However, over vaccination can be a problem. It can lower the dog's immunity, which is dangerous for breeds at higher risk of cancer since they'll be less effective at fighting it. Product number nine, we mentioned it before, formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a strong smelling gas used for building materials, household cleaners, and wood and paper product coatings. This is also famous as an ingredient in embalming dead bodies. Exposure to the gas may cause leukemia, lung cancer, and affect the other parts of the body in humans, negatively affecting canines the same way. It's considered an irritant even for canines and may trigger allergic reactions. Even attempting to ingest it in minuscule amounts may damage or digestive tract without an antidote. It's best to remove new furniture with pungent stench of new wood coatings or anything that smells highly toxic. They may have formaldehyde. Let's go to the last product. Number 10, lawn fertilizers and herbicides. Lawn fertilizers partnered up with herbicides make up the compound turned weed and feed. The problem regarding these substances is that they're inorganic and they thus pose a potential risk to anyone who inhales it. However, likely unknown to many, research shows that herbicides may form malignant lymphoma in dogs and is said to be potentially harmful even if an application only takes annually. Specifically, professional lawn products may increase the chance of lymphomas in both in canines and humans. Even if you don't use lawn products, your neighbor might and they still pose a threat to any dogs around. If your dog can't avoid this, there are safer options for lawn cleaning such as corn gluten. They're natural non-toxic alternatives to fertilizers and herbicides. You should always be aware whenever your dogs go outside, especially during spring or fall because these are likely occasions that anyone will treat their lawns. Now let's talk about some other causes of cancer. Noting that many synthetic products either benefit or harms your pet's health, your dog may avoid possible adverse effects only if you pay attention to them. So let's talk about some other possible causes of cancers and canines that you should keep in mind if you may find something wrong with them. Number one, environmental factors. Known carcinogens and chemicals that affect our health can be factors for your pet's health deterioration. Like we said in the list, you know, these are all pretty much 
to environmental. Your dog may have a higher sensitivity and lower immunity to the factors that we come in contact with. So they may contract them worse than we do and even cause chronic inflammation. Known environmental carcinogens that they may contract include ultraviolet radiation from a prolonged exposure to the sun, air pollution from urban areas, and other atmospheric pollutants such as smog. Another cause of cancer is old age and family background. While we don't know precisely the origin, cancer is likely to form in older dogs with weaker immune systems. Controlled cells within their bodies may divide incorrectly, thus creating more issues related to the deficiency of their immunity. Genetics may also be an issue in developing cancer significantly if the affected came directly from someone with a weak immune system. Generally, dog breeds such as Golden Retrievers, Boxers, Bernese Mountain Dogs, and Rottweilers are more likely to develop cancer than other breeds. This suggests that a dog's family or genetic history can affect their health at more significant risks. And the last other cause is viruses and other forms of cancer. Viruses can cause cancer in our pets. For example, oral papilloma is a type of cancer that develops from papilloma virus. If it forms benign warts in your dog's mouth, especially on their lips, gums, mouth, or their mucous membranes. Furthermore, some of them may be sexually transmitted, known as the canine transmissible venereal tumor. To wrap up, just be sure to check the food manufacturers and ingredient list for any specifics that you might find harmful for your pet or to eat or exposure to that may significantly cost their life. Well, that's gonna do it for us here at Top Dog Tips. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learn something new, be sure to subscribe to our channel. That's how we continue to grow our following so we can continue to put out great content for you all. With that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.